everybody and welcome to the computer help guide. Today I'm going to be showing you how to upload your website for free. Yes, for free. Very easy to do. All you need to do is search in for a program called Dropbox. I've got to accept my thing which I can capitals. Dropbox and search. So Dropbox, the online backup file sync and sharing made easy. So this program it's normally used for sharing files over the internet, but people have found out that you can use it to publish your website to the internet. Um, so once you come onto the website, you should come see this page. It's free for Windows, Mac, Linux, and mobile. And what we need to do is click on download Dropbox. So there, instructions what to do. Uh, wait for it, it should download in a sec. Um, there we go. So um, the scar because I've already downloaded it, but you just click allow. Okay, so once you've downloaded it, you should get an icon up here with a box, um, and it gives you like loads of little applications and stuff. Um, you get two gig of memory to upload your website with once you get it. Um, but you can get more by referring people and stuff to the to Dropbox. Um, so at the moment, I'm going to be showing you how to do this for Mac, I'm sure it'll be the same process sort of um, for Windows and Linux but you know uh, I'll have to try and find out how to do this on Linux, um, sorry on Windows even, no one uses Linux but if you do, very sorry um, anyway so open up your application that you use to make your website I used iWeb, so for this I made a special website uh, test site I've called it, uh, you, shouldn't, you shouldn't be here because you shouldn't um, but anyway so click on this bit here this little folder so publish to, it'll normally be on mobile me uh, but we don't want that because it'll cost us so we need to click on the local folder so site name test site dot tk I'll explain this dot tk uh, in a sec contact email da -da -da. location so go onto your username and you should see a folder called Dropbox so go ahead and double click on that and you should see a folder called public so click on that if you haven't used the thing before then you won't have these two things because it um, but I've got I've made these because I've got two different websites um, this is for my website I'm going to be uploading now um, but anyway if this is your first time uploading it all you have to do is just click on public and click choose but for me, because if you want to upload multiple website, then websites, then make a folder in it and then just call it wherever you want. So I'm going to click on test website and choose so, um, website URL http www.testsite.gk. Uh, all good. Okay, so click on file and click on publish entire site. Content right, continue. There, so your site has been published to the selected folder. It's now on the internet, blah, blah, blah visit site now. Okay, so this is the website. Test site. You shouldn't be here. Very good. Um, but as you can see, the URL is very long, very long indeed, and you're not going to write this down on a piece of paper to give to your mate or colleague, um, mainly because they won't be bothered to even type that in. I know I wouldn't. So we need to make that shorter to a nice, easy, um, rememberable, and easy to remember even, URL. So delete that and type in dot tk and search okay look so dot tk renaming the website so rename a long web address URL into a real domain name so what we need to do now is click on finder and go into the Dropbox folder click on public and uh, I'll just click on it Right then, so here I have the index.html. So we need to go ahead and right click on that, hover over Dropbox, and click on copy public link. Okay, so now get rid of that, and we need to paste in this. Next. Very good. So we're to delete that. This is my, um, I call it my 
Yeah. Call it that. This is my test site, so don't use it. .tk. That'll do. Uh, so type in the characters um, to make sure you're not a computer that's trying to take up all the names. So if you scroll down, you should come to this bit. Um, if you're just going to upload the website once and never do anything with it ever again, you need to click on this. Email is not required, but for this one, if you want to update it and stuff, then you want to make a registered free domain. An email address is required, so click next. So click on free domain, uh, but you the downside to this is you have to get 25 hits or views with um, every 90 days for it to remain free. Or you can choose a paid domain, which is six pounds ninety-five a year. Oops, sorry. Uh, so click on next. Yeah, to do. Okay, Your website URL. That just leave that as it is. Go down your email address. So the computer help guide. Oh, there it is. Good, good. And click next. Ah, oh, come on. Ah, oh, crap. Um, okay, so create my .tk account. Um, <laughs> um, I already have mine, so what I'll do is actually I'll, I'll make another one for, just for you guys. So the computer help guide at live.co.uk password password again. I think I pressed it. Uh, no, that's good. Okay, okay. Click next. So, um, can't be bothered with saving. All uh, right. So, dot tk has sent an email to your web address, email address, even da -da -da, open your email. Da -da -da. Okay. So, um, I'll skip this part of the video and I'll show you the bit afterwards. So, okay, guys. So I'm back. Um, here we have the dot tk registration, uh, thing. Registration center. Okay. As you know, we like to keep things simple, so all you need to do is activate your .tk address. So click on this. Okay, okay. So complete. Type in the code re received in your email here. Uh, there. So copy that. Uh, do -do -do. There we go. So confirm. And congratulations, you've done it. So log in. Uh, it's not remembering it today for some reason. Oh well. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> oh, got, got a bit of a bad cough. So we'll log in now. So click on My Domains. Uh, add a new domain. This is my domain even. There we go. So there, this is my this is my domains. This is my test site, so don't use it. .tk. So hopefully, if we enter that into here, this is my test no test site. So don't. It would have been easy if I copied and pasted that one. So don't use it. .tk. Okay, let's search. Let's see. Moment of truth, it should work. Yeah, here we go. Okay, so it's up on the internet. So now you have your very own free website on the internet for everyone to admire and enjoy. Uh, sorry, this tutorial blagged on a bit. I should have done it in two parts. Oh well. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, please rate, please rate, subscribe for more videos like this, and I will see you next time.